Hello guys and welcome back. Previously I was talking about the model editor and I finished everything related to that. So today I'm gonna start uh, explaining about the building editor. So imagine you have this robotic model and you want to test it inside a certain building. So uh, I'm gonna teach you today how to construct such building. So I advise you to watch this video to the end and as usual do not forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification button to stay updated. So let's start. Okay, so let me open Gazebo. So in order to uh, go to the build editor, you can go from this button in here, the building editor, or you can use control B. Okay, so as you can see, I have here uh, a panel on the uh, left hand uh, where I have uh, the name of the model. I can name it whatever I want. For example, let's name it building one. A simple name okay now here we have some features that can be added for example a wall uh, a window a door uh, stairs all what we need for a simple building and down below you have uh, some uh, features that can be added to the parts of your building for example you can add uh, a color to your walls uh, you can add uh, a texture for example let me expand it a bit. And actually, if you hit the more button in here, you can choose more colors. And actually, you can add some custom colors. Uh, so you can add whatever color you want. All right. And uh, on the right hand side, you have uh, two windows. In the upper one, you can see uh, the 2D view of your building. And this will be, you can consider it as a top view. And down below, you will have the 3D view. Now, in the 2D uh, view in here, you can add all of your, uh, uh, of the components or the parts of your building. For example, a wall, a window, a door. And you can specify all the measurements of these components in here. And also, actually, you can add the features like the color, the texture from here too. But I think it's easier from this left-hand panel. And in the uh, bottom window right here, you will have a 3D a preview of your building. So you can get to know what are you doing. Now, for example, let me show you how to uh, construct a wall. You just click on the wall and then you click at any point in here. And then you uh, go and click on the other point. And by that, you have specified the extremities of your wall. And as you can see, there's a measurement uh, in there. And actually, it's a snapping at a specific incremental value. I can see it is snapping at 0 0.25 meters. And of course, you can rotate it. And it will like snap around a certain angle, I believe it is 15 degrees. And these are predefined values. Of course, if you want to override these uh, values, these uh, snapping values, you can hold the shift button on your keyboard. And as you can see, I can increment by distance and by angle as I want. Now click another time to specify the other extremity. And of course, you will go to another wall and then another wall. If you want to exit this loop, you just uh, right click with your mouse or double uh, left click. Now, of course, you don't want to construct walls uh, arbitrarily. As you can see, the walls appeared here in the 3D preview. Of course, you have to follow a certain, uh, let's say, map, right? So in order to do that, you can click on the button import right here. And this will allow you to import a, uh, a plan for the floor. And this will be simply, as you can see, a PNG file or a JPG file. 
So I have a file in here. I have already downloaded it. It's a simple image. Okay, YouTube today. And this is it. Now, as you can see, this is the floor plan. Let me hit next. And actually you need to specify the resolution of your image so that it will appear in a good scale, right? So in order to do that, uh, you have to specify this number right here, uh, the resolution in pixels per meter. And if you don't know what is the resolution of your map, you can, uh, let's say, build it yourself or the system can calculate it on its own after doing some steps. So you, if you click on the uh, figure right here, anywhere, let's say on the extremity of this wall, as you can see, a measurement appeared. I can go and click on the other extremity. And as you can see, now I can specify the real measurement of this wall. Uh, it is 7.5 as it was specified on the map, 7.5 meters. And automatically the uh, software will calculate the pixels associated with this measurement. And by that it will calculate the resolution. So it's 88.4, hit OK and here you will have your plan in front of you. Of course, you can use the wheel of the mouse in order to zoom in and zoom out. Now I can use that to construct my walls. Let me go and do that. Here we go. It's a very easy process once you have the plan in front of you. It's a very uh, useful feature, a very useful tool. Of course, I'm not gonna build uh, the whole plan for sure. I just want to build, let's say, one room for the sake of this tutorial. And actually, okay, here we go. Now, if you want to customize, let's say, the wall, uh, you can uh, click on it. Make sure you clicked on it uh, using the left, uh, a left click, and then right click and you enter the open wall inspector. Of course, I don't want to delete it. Now here you can specify uh, more specifically in a more detailed manner, the X and Y of the start point and the end point of the two extremities of the wall. So for example, if your wall seemed like a little bit, uh, I don't know, uh, let's say not straight or something, you can uh, fix that. For example, uh, this wall seemed a little not straight, so let me right click on that. And as you can see, uh, the axes are not equal, so this is why. So let me specify this as 7.4, and let me hit apply. As you can see, uh, I just straightened it up. Now for the Y's, and here you can specify the length, of course this is related to the start and end point automatically. You can specify the height, so let me show you here, it will appear on the 3D view. For example, for the height, let me specify it to be 3.5 and let me apply. As you can see, uh, the height just increased and you can play with the thickness and you can play from the color from here, as I told you. So let me, let's put it, I don't know, like orange and let me apply and you can do some, you can apply some texture, for example, this one and hit OK when you are finished. Now this is concerning the wall. Now if you want to add some windows and doors you can do that by clicking on the feature in here and then you can drag it to the wall where you want to place it and it will snap to the wall and as you can see it will show you some distances from the extremities of the wall as you can see. Now place it wherever you want and of course uh, you can click on it and then right click, you open the window inspector and you can specify the uh, coordinates, the elevation and the width and the height. And you can change whatever you want, feel free to play around with those. I'm going to keep them as they are. Now the same thing applies for the doors, same exact thing. Okay, so for example, let me place it right here, okay. And of course you can customize it by opening the door inspector. Now, of course you can add also a staircase. So here we go. 
and once you place it actually you can click on it you can open the inspector for sure but instead of doing that you can just uh, like playing with the dots right here to expand it and you can also if you zoom a little bit you can rotate it of course it will rotate just by increments of 90 degrees okay now of course let me open the inspector and let me see what I can change you can change its position the total width of the whole staircase the depth of uh, the total of the whole staircase to its total height the number of steps the color etc now here we go we have our first plan now if you want to uh, if you want to add another level as you can see here there's a plus and minus sign if you want to add some level you can hit the plus sign and minus to delete the current level that is specified by the drop down uh, on uh, uh, here now let me add another level when you add another level uh, the walls of the below level uh, will be copied as they are okay now as you can see I just added one level it is the same as the previous one below it of course without all the features like the staircase uh, the doors and the windows and of course you can add uh, your own plan for this second level using the same way as you did for the first one you import a figure and the draw, you draw on it of course I can delete some walls for example uh, if I want a, an, a different plan for this floor and if you can see the button here it's not appearing very well I don't know why if you hit the view of course you can uh, change what uh, you want to see uh, whether you want to see the floor plan or the features uh, make sure to check whichever you want to see of course after specifying your target level from the drop down menu in here you can uh, go ahead and right click anywhere uh, on the map in here and you can open the level inspector and as you can see you can change its name and you can also change the color of the floor let me change it let's say to this gray color and you can specify a certain texture okay so let me apply as you can see here is the new floor okay all right so just like one final thing uh, you can add the textures and the color from here as i told you earlier for example let me add this uh, orange color to this wall in here as you can see i just click on the feature and we we you can hover over uh, the wall that you want to change and the same thing for the texture in here in here whatever anything okay so once you are done make sure to name your building and um, you go to file and you can save it as make sure to specify the directory so I will browse I will browse to my desktop and I will choose the desktop and here we go this is the building one of course you can uh, specify some uh, advanced options like uh, on the name the email uh, etc let me put my name in here okay so Abid and you can put your email if you want a little bit of description and you just save it now after saving it uh, you can uh, go ahead and uh, press ctrl x to exit the building editor now one small note once you save your model your building model you cannot edit it okay and this is a bad thing i don't know if uh, in uh, later versions of gazebo they have fixed that uh, but I'm, ju I'm just using Gazebo 9. I don't know if in later versions like Gazebo 11 uh, this issue was solved. Uh, also one thing when you are while you are uh, modeling your building you cannot uh, press ctrl z or you don't have any undo button so be careful and uh, f from what what you do okay. So as you can see 
if you go to the insert in here to the insert tab uh, you can see under desktop you have the building one so you can click on it and drag it to here and place it as you like as you want okay so here you go you have your house right now you can get married have children and everything and live inside it anyway I'm kidding anyway so now you will have uh, you you have the tools to build a certain indoor environment for your robot in order to simulate it inside it so uh, i hope you like this video guys now uh, later on i will show you how to uh, record a certain simulation and play it back so i hope to see you guys later on